Hi, it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Race six, global team horse racing, 1400 meters. It's a mirror rated 96. So some good horses in here as well, Dees. Yes, uh, over 1400 meters. And uh, this will be your last chance to play a pick three. An odd time, 1939. Get your bets on there. <laughs> They'll be trying to keep it. And they did very well. They actually had a delay last week as well, Paul, but they yeah. managed to catch up. They played hard, yeah. Yeah, it's all about, uh, you know, horses getting into the parade ring, horses uh, leaving. And I think everything went, uh, you know, very satisfactory last week. And everyone would have been pleased with regards to race times and uh, horses making it to the start on time. This is a very uh, competitive race and uh, they can make a case for a number of these horses. Yep. I would say punters in this leg are going to play it as wide as possible. Uh, let's give a comment on each runner quickly, Paul. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, number I'll, one, Master of Destiny. You know, rested 11 weeks. It's yes. had a break, you know. Very consistent horse. The plus is that Sean Veal has drawn a horse that he, he knows. knows. Yeah. yeah, I think you've got to include it. Kuma, Kone offer is plus a half kg, so take note of that. The, the form's in and out for me, Paul. Is Fat Boy uh, half over? Half over. Kone, come on, son. Yeah. Uh, he has changed stables now with Yogas. Seems to have lost a little bit of gloss, but uh, bumped some decent horses. Uh, the filly uh, number three, Love Bomb, uh, she was rewarded after a long time last When Won a very good race. Very good race. She's been honest. She's, she's tried a few different distances. This distance won't trouble her at all. Makara has come out to win and run third, I think, uh, in that off to stud stakes behind Humdinger. So that form's looking oh, good. Humdinger. Arctic Drift, Candace Bass Robinson. Yeah, still in town. Uh, I suppose it must have a shot. You know, it's still got to wait, but Calvin Aviv is a good rider. The form's been franked. It's uh, been up to a 90 at merit rating. Just needs a little bit extra. To draw your attention to the average rating in that Tukela handicap, Paul, yes. 100. It's now a 92. And Silvano's timer that was third in that race came through to win. I like this horse as a price ball, number four Arctic Drift. Hasta manana. You like it, eh? Yeah, I like okay. I think it, it has to go into the play. Okay. My top choice is going to be Hasta manana, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I would say this horse for running, uh, what was it? <laughs> in, the, in, in a race behind Safe Passage. I think that was... That was the, the Daily News. That was, uh, yeah, that was... Uh, what, yeah, it was the Daily it? News, and it was 10 furlong, these. Yeah, you that... Know, William Longsword was a great man. No, it was the Bailey Turk, Paul. I remember it. It was the Bailey Turk. The unsafe, oh, yeah, going back to that one. If yes. you could see this horse was hammered, 97 to a 104, you know, yeah, for, for, for running... Yeah, for seven lengths back. That's it. Now, I don't know. I mean, that was behind Waterbury Lane. Waterbury Lane, Paul. It was second. Oh, that's yeah. the Bailey Turk. Yeah, yes, two yeah. and a half lengths to yeah. Waterbury Lane. And then they decided, you know, well, rating is up. Let's try him against the best in the yeah, age group. Yeah, they went 104, 101. I think this horse is talented, Paul. He's a talented yeah, absolutely. horse. Absolutely. They're giving him 62 because he's very talented. Yeah. And I think he won the model man mile. Yes. He was a, he, he used, a useful horse. You know, they say he went to Guineas. He wasn't too far back. But when he went 10 furlong, safe passage, he fell away late in the race. So maybe he doesn't go that far. Yeah, between uh, numbers five and six for Lorenzo Karim is a big weight differential, but I'll still be in the camp of five of the two. Yeah, he's a useful horse. Tread swiftly, Peter Muskets runner, 61 kgs. Can he pull it off? Got ability, consistent, never far adrift. Mm. You know, if things map out right for the horse, you can't leave it out. Well, Sean Terry has found a race for his individuals called Silver Tycoon, who come into the field carrying 54 and a half kgs and of two good runs up in Gauteng. Yeah, not the worst. Not the worst. Must have a chance, you know. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't think it's ever lost to 1,400. It's unbeaten over 1,400. Correct, Silver two token. from two. Yeah. So, uh, again, it, it's tricky racing. Yeah, it looks like, a, you know, races five and six. Nice to see some quality on show yes. on, a, you know, global team horse racing a Friday night. And the sixth race over 1,400 meters. We've given you a comment on each of the runners. 
And uh, I'm going to say numbers 5, 7, 1, and 4 are going to be my top four. Yeah, sure. You could five, be, a, seven, and you could be at. Four. Yeah, I could. You know, <laughs> sure, sure. Love Bomb could beat, uh, you know, Silver Tuck. If, I did, if you had to tune. pick your brain for a roving banker, just a roving banker, one that could finish in the top four. Hasta mañana. Ah, I like it. I like it, Paul. Now, race number six, Hasta mañana going to be the player for Paul yeah. as a roving banker. It's a tricky race. All the best. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.